Hi friends, in today's lecture, we will study how to make this beautiful geometry in AutoCAD using the polar array command. So let us first explore how to make this geometry. We'll start by making this innermost circle of radius 16. Then we'll make this outermost circle and the radius for that is 32. Then we'll make this circle and the radius for that is 8 followed by the innermost circle and the radius for that is 4. Then we'll use the trim command and erase this balance portion of the circle and then we'll use the array command and array that object 6 times. So let us see how to proceed with this geometry. We'll start with construction of the innermost circle and the radius for that is 16. So I select circle and I select center radius and I give this as a center point and the radius for that is 16 and hit enter. Then I will make the outer circle and the radius is 32. So again center radius, I give this center point and the radius is 32 and I hit end. Then I will use the CM or the center mark command and put one center mark over here. Then I will use the line command and I'll draw one line from the center of this and intersecting the outer circle. Then I'll hit end. Then using this as the intersection point, I will draw the inner circle of radius 4. So I will select circle center radius and I'll draw this inner circle and the radius for that is 4. Then using the same center point, I will draw the outer circle of radius 8. So again circle center radius I use the same center point and the radius is 8. Now I will use the trim command and trim off the unwanted part of the circle. And now I use the erase command and erase this line. Then I will use the center mark command and draw one center mark to the center of this circle. Now I use the array command. So I will type array and I will hit enter. Select the objects to array. These are my objects. Then I will hit enter. Then it is asking me what kind of array. I type polar array. Then it is asking me give the center point. This is the center point and the object gets arrayed six times. You can adjust the number of times you want by increasing or decreasing the number over here. Then I will hit enter and my geometry is complete. Then you can dimension these objects and for dimensioning the objects you come into home and from here you select radius and you give the radius for the innermost circle again radius for the outermost circle again radius for this circle and finally radius for this circle So friends, hope you have learned something new in this particular video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we we'll see you again in the next video. Till that time, goodbye.